Hi ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today? Today the topic is called how to establish high level trust in the operative processing. <music> get started so for awesome suggestion and advices you can put me through the link in the description section below as I will give you awesome insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization so let's get into the topic so according to Farrell in 1993 to have high trust and to foster an accepting atmosphere in adult learning the facilitators should care for learners operative domain so, appetite domain is actually belongs to cognitive theory and cognitive learning strategies. So, more, for more information on appetite domains, you can watch my video link on how, um, how much you know about cognitive learning strategies and cognitive theory from the video link above. So, let's get back into the topic again. So, the appetite elements are emotions and feelings. Learners bring feelings of self-esteem, fear, uh, respect for authority, and need for status, and uh, comfort with varying amount of um, autonomy or structure, and the previous, uh, previous experience in school to the learning transactions. You can subscribe to my channel by hitting the button and um, uh, so you don't miss anything because I bring you um, new ingredients, new topic, and new insights every Monday and Thursday. And also, I noticed many of you um, browse, listen, and watch my video or channel, come into my channel without subscribing it. So, I appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel and you also will help my channel to grow. And also, you will not miss anything when I bring you every Monday, Thursday, new ingredients, new insights, and the new topics. Okay? Now, what do you mean by affective processing? Remember, affective processing creates positive self-awareness and self-concept. So it is best to involve every participant, every participants and every learners in the group activities as well as the learning process. Because our brain functions in this way. We have a limpid system in our brain. So the limpid system is to determine whether the strategies are desirable or non-desirable. So it is very important because every individual, when they uh, bring into, into the group, uh, doing the group activities, the brain will tell them, you know, what's happening, okay? So be aware. So our brain also control our body. No context produces a kind of uh, challenging hormones called eustress. Uh, whenever the challenging or stressful situation occurs and which uh, will lead the, um, the, the individuals to rise to, to face a challenge. That's because of the hormone called you stress in the individual's body when some stressful situation occur. And also our brain um, in charge of the emotion. So the emotion is involved in every learning situation at this stage. So it is very important during this stage the uh, the trainer or the facilitators must step in and attain to the um, affective domain okay? because of the emotion of that stage of learning for the new individual who are participating in the group activities and so on. So for more information on um, the types, how to test the type of learner, you can watch the uh, learning style instruments, my previous video from the link above. To enable high trust in adult learning, we need to pay attention to the affective domain, which is the feeling, the fear, and the respect for authority as a trap. Pharaoh actually um, suggests that we need to pay, atten uh, to pay attention to the strategies uh, when you want to enable high trust level in adult learning. For example, strategies such as to recognize the value of previous experience and emphasize the necessity of upholding the self-esteem self-esteem of the adult learners and stress the importance of attending to the environment factors in the learning settings okay strategies such as to provide for security and 
both dependence and independence in the learning transaction. Building relationship to stimulate learners to engage in learning and facilitate the uh, satisfaction and achievement. So to enable high trust level in adult learning, also pay attention to strategies such as selectively emphasize and deal with the human perspectives of what is being learned. And with application to personal daily lives of the adult uh, learners whenever possible. And also strategies such as to relax content and instructional uh, procedures to learner concerns. To enable high trust level um, in adult learning, we also pay attention to strategies such as selectively relax content and the instructional procedures to learners' value and encourage an atmosphere of mutual understanding and mutual respect and allow each um, adult uh, personal choice uh, in matters of opinion, selection and application. Pay attention also to strategies such as helping learners to directly experience the cognitive concepts on a physical and emotional level. However, the affective domain side of learning is helping learners to achieve the high trust level in learning practice, in learning methods. There are actually still two other important domains called cognitive and psychomotor domains, which I will focus it on my uh, very near future video. So watch out for that. So that's all for my video today. I hope my topic today is a very short one. So if you like the content, remember to put your thumbs up and share it with your friend. And also for awesome suggestions and advices, you can put me to the links in the description section below. So I will give you awesome insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. Finally, thank you very much for your tuning in today and being with me today. Until next time and goodbye.